worked here at Crystal Waters Permaculture Village for 24 years. I didn't really plan to move here in those days, but I wanted a beautiful lifestyle for my daughter to grow up in. And I knew that if I moved to a permaculture village, I'd been experienced in permaculture for some time and was really keen to be amongst other people who enjoyed looking after the earth and caring for the planet and yeah, permaculture in particular. So I moved here to have a piece of land that I could call home where I could put my roots in and grow as much food as I wanted and live with other people close by that we could work and grow ourselves together and grow our kids up. Yeah, and it's been important for me to have that lifestyle. I lived for eight years without power or running water in northern New South Wales and so when I came here to even build a small home was quite wonderful for me and to have that opportunity and work with natural building materials and you know, and conventional ones as well but to experiment with natural building and to have solar power and not be connected to mains power was a really wonderful opportunity to live in a much more gentle way close to the earth other projects I just can't do it all um, so I just have to it would be nice to make my own and, um, seed raisin and make and me you just put them in a jam jar of water for three weeks because I you know did a lot of research too and I did a permaculture course in the very early 80s and I was quite excited to grow my own food I'd, I'd done a bit of that but it never was that successful and I really looked at um, wanting to grow my own food but found that what did surprise me was that you know, to realise permaculture was a lot more than just growing food. Very much all the social permaculture and invisible structures and, you know, let systems and how we barter and trade for things and ethical investment and all of those sorts of things that grew out of it. I'm sort of surprised where my life ended up going to. You know, I started um, cooking for permaculture courses and then was encouraged to teach permaculture so by the end of the 80s I was teaching permaculture courses and then doing that in a really creative interactive way and people wanted to learn how that we did that and so I'm very surprised where my life ended up you know I ended ended up teaching permaculture people and all sorts of trainers and teachers all around the world in interactive and creative learning methods Mm. And that's still part of permaculture too. For me, it's so important how we work together for change. You know, if, if our groups and our learning environments can be fun and inspirational and people remember the learning, then we're much more likely to get that out into the world. And if our groups work harmoniously for change without conflict and mm. with everyone feeling empowered, then we work much better for the purpose of the group rather than solving side issues and you know getting sidetracked solving problems so I'm surprised where my life's ended up and I still grow food even in amongst a busy life and mm -hmm. yeah I do my best to grow as much food as I can and mm. it's a very important time in the world at the moment I feel it's important to share what we know with others and inspire other people to work for change as well. And there's a lot of systems in the world, climatic change is happening and yeah, let's see where that goes. But um, if we can be growing our own food, connecting with other people in community and creating a much more self-resilient lifestyle amongst a community of people. You know, one of the biggest things I've learnt is to live amongst others and to share a piece of land with family, friends, community, people who like to work for change and work on their own, you know, inner work and what they love and care about. And, you know, that gives us a stability and um, able to work from that base no matter what happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I encourage people to share what they learn too. And that was a big part of my journey is writing down all of my teaching notes, all of my recipes and writing a permaculture book. You know, I feel that it's very important to share on what we learn with others and inspire others to work for change. Yeah. Yeah.